Amateur versus professional, man. Keep your food in the pot. That's don't, the number one rule. Don't put, what? That's the number one rule. That's Keep not, your food in the pot. <laughs> Hey guys, my name is Jade, I work at BuzzFeed. My cooking list is a little short. I know how to make mac and cheese, chocolate chip cookies, like when it comes with the dough ready already. I have a slight cooking background. I actually used to work at Chipotle my whole college career, making burritos, making quesadillas, making salads. Man, I was killing the game. I'm Alvin, I'm a tasty producer here in BuzzFeed New York. I've been cooking for a while, I love food and I love cooking. I believe that food is super beautiful. I really focus on making food that I think is presentable as well as delicious. I feel super confident going against Alvin. You know, this guy might be the tasty king, but I'm like the lemonade king. You give me anything and I can make lemonade. All I'm saying is, may the best cook win. And we're gonna find out. Everyone's fridge is very different. When I go to my cousin's fridge, what they have in their fridge is completely different than what I have in my fridge. 30 minutes is not a lot of time to make a meal, especially because you're in a new kitchen, you're not sure what you're working with, but I think I can make it work. You ready to do this? Yeah, let's do it, let's, let's do, do it. it. All right, do it's man. on. I'm coming for your ass, Alvin. I'm coming for you, man. We're on our yeah, way to, to Tara's house. What do you think she's out of the fridge? I have no idea. I feel like Tara lives right on 34th Street, so like, she's r around so many restaurants. Yeah. What would you have in your fridge? Let's go see this house. Let's go Let's do, do it. it. <laughs> What's up? What's up, T Wiz? How's it going? Wait, wait, why are you here? Wait, we're here for we're, the for the chef yeah. versus amateur. Well, it doesn't matter. We're coming it's in tomorrow. Wait, no, no, girl. Some, are you hungry? Right you now. better be. Don't you want some lunch? Ooh. I just woke up. I got five minutes to check out what food we got lying around, what kind of equipment we're dealing with. The special ingredient that I brought, smoked paprika. I brought it because I think it adds a really nice flavor to a lot of foods that could really take things to the next level. So I open the fridge, not knowing what to expect. I see eggs, I see cheese, I see maple syrup, I see bacon. Here's got some leftovers here. This is broccoli. Oh, I could totally use broccoli. That's like a breakfast thing. Broccoli goes with eggs. Things are starting to work. It's easy to sort of follow a dish when you know what angle you're going for. So I think I got something going on. Some sort of omelet over maybe some bacon, stuffed with some cheese. Sounds pretty good to me. Because I am the master of all things wrapped in tortillas, it's only right that my special ingredient was tortillas, man. I'm just gonna take whatever is in this fridge and put it in this wrap and make it taste good. Let's check out what's in this fridge. She has onions, cilantro, she had the lemon juice and the salt. Those are really the only three ingredients I use in like most of my foods. Oh, we got avocado. Girl, all I need is avocados and I'm gonna get this guacamole popping. I got pico de gallo and guacamole. I can make a vegetarian burrito. I really wanna make one with meat. And I was going through the fridge, there weren't too many leftovers, but there was this little Tupperware of Chinese food. It looked like some rice with some carrots with a little bit of chicken. Let me see what this smells like. It'll have to work, guys. I know burritos. He knows tasty. Let's see what that looks like versus each other. Three, two, one. We're going? All right, oh, here it is. Going for it. I don't know if all my cooking techniques are right, so uh, don't judge me. You're going down, Jade. I'm just going downtown after I whoop your ass. Go back Ooh. to work. Should have ran this under cold water because I'm about to start tearing like a bitch. <laughs> oh, you're cutting the red onions too. That's going to make you cry. Yeah, it's going to be crying. Someone cue the waterworks. Oh no, like red onions are the most acidic. All that onion gas is like going in the air and making her cry and I felt so bad. I started cutting those red onions. The tears just started falling, man. I could not make them stop. It was really, really bad. <laughs> it's going to be such a beautiful victory. <laughs> You gotta, you gotta whip it. If you dance while you're doing it, it gets more air into it. Ooh. Ooh. I don't know if it helps aerate the eggs. I personally believe it does, but that might just be me talking. It's the part where the syrup goes in and it gets all glazed. Look at what he's doing. Like, are you serious? Yeah, we gotta get this nice and sticky. You wanna taste one? Yeah. All right. It's hot though, be careful. Oh, come on. It's gonna be a bed for the omelet. Oh. I now gotta use my secret ingredient, the smoked paprika. This avocado is really hard, so I have to slice it and dice it before I mash it, so that I'm not sitting here all day mashing this thing. I'm gonna prep these simultaneously. A little lemon juice. 
I put jalapenos in my pico de gallo and guacamole, but because we don't have jalapenos. I still have some jalapeno Pringles, I think. So I'm gonna mash these down. Hope it turns into sauce. Now I gotta add the leftovers. So it's this broccoli cheddar mix. I'm gonna kinda like put on the side of the omelet. I think the moment I rolled my omelet, I kinda knew I'd taken it home. He really thinks he's gonna win. His confidence is here, and I'm gonna need him to come here. This guy thinks that this is a tasty video. That's my boy right there. Woo! The hell is that, Alvin? Alvin's over here with chips, and he's making some kind of chip concoction, and he's calling it a garnish. And there we have it. Let me make it an even playing field, and let me make a breakfast burrito as well. So instead of using the leftover rice and chicken as like a dinner kind of style burrito, I'll take the chicken out of the rice and then put that in some eggs, make a little omelet, put the omelet in the burrito with some pico de gallo guacamole. Success on a platter, bitches. Ooh, boy. Are you trying to copy me? That's what I do when I cook. I just throw shit together. Whatever's in front of me, that's what's going in. I'm just gonna cook some bacon as a snack. I just go ahead and throw these eggs in there now. I like my eggs cheesy, actually, too. So You're I a lot copying of everything I'm doing. I ain't copy you, Alvin. Get the hell out of here. You're you know? using Kraft Singles, too? What? That's the only cheese she has besides Parmesan. No, there's... Oh, fire. Where's your fan? I know for a fact it wasn't me that set off the fire alarm. I'm 100% sure Jay set the fire alarm off. There's no way I could do it. Now back to what I was doing. Gonna like lay that guacamole on the bottom, you know? Pico de gallo next. You know with my Chipotle experience, my rolling skills are impeccable, so that burrito looked immaculate after I rolled it. I've been sitting in my room for what feels like forever because I've been smelling all kinds of different smells. Some good, some intense, some fire alarms. But we have two beautifully presented dishes. And I'm gonna start with this one. I can see there's some Doritos on top. We got some bacon on the bottom. Oh, oh, look at that cheese pull. That is so good. Number two, there's like some toppings, but it's a burrito, so I'm just gonna kind of like saucer it. Also really good. There's a lot of different flavors. It looks like we have some of my leftover chicken, which has been in there for not really sure how long, but I love the creativity in that. There's some eggs, there's some pico de gallo, there's, there's a lot. So both dishes were really so good, but now I have to choose a winner. So I have to bring in the chefs. It was a really hard decision, and you guys are both my really good friends. I'm gonna have to go with the bacon and egg omelet. The bacon, the cheese pull. I'm, Keep saying it. I'm gonna have to award you with this trophy. It's okay, you know, Alvin put his foot in that, you know, that bacon does look good. I think you should try it. I think you should try Jay's. <laughs> yeah, I'll try you. Mmm. Ooh, okay. I like it. I think you did with that broccoli, man. Mm-hmm. 